Well, he's gone down to 1.8 just before the off Oriental Strength. And we are set to go. $50 Elderly Paradise and Windsor Arch 3. And out to $80 is Dan Poe Shack. And away they go. Well, he was slow to stride Elderly Paradise. A bit of speed in the early part. Laughing World and Driving Forward River Dream with four seeds and health. Gee, they're running it at a very good clip here. And Windsor Arch 3 slots up to four. Fifth, the outside of him and the white cap then is Oriental Strength. And then hand by hand, very hard ridden Dan Poe Shack. And he can't find a spot at tall, Born Day's just forward of him LD Paradise goes by of Dan Poshack who's going poorly uh, not as poorly though as Medina Power who's lost touch with the main bunch in the back 1100 metres to travel and four seas in health, three parts in advance River Dream, about three away then to hand by hand in the green jacket, favoured Oriental Strength is alongside of him and splitting them was uh, rather on the outside of them was Laughing World followed then by Windsor Arch 3 the green jacket, LD Paradise Sliding through on the inside, Born Day. Dan Poshak starting to pick up the bridle a bit now, and he's getting into the race by the 800 metres as the main lot start to compact and about five back to Medina Power. Swinging down the side around 750 metres to travel, four season health. Three parts in advance, River Dream. Going up quickly on the outside now is Oriental Strength. Dan Poshak's made steady ground. He's making heavy weather of it, and he's on the outside of Windsor Arch 3. Laughing World's under pressure and likewise LED Paradise on towards the home turn and Oriental Strength takes over from over on the inside as Four Season Health coming at them on the outside is Dan Poe Shack and in the centre Windsor Arch 3, Oriental Strength in front, Oriental Strength is clear from Windsor Arch 3 and Dan Poe Shack and Oriental Strength looking good, he seems to be edging away and it's Oriental Strength round down to the wire and he stretches that margin and he races away Oriental Strength beats wide out probably Dan Poe Shack and Born Day came late uh, Windsor Arch 3 weakened quickly the last bit Laughing World, Medina Power actually got by of a couple, River Dream Hand by Hand and Elderly Paradise but the favourite home 1.8 mightn't have looked attractive beforehand but when they win by 4 it's okay and Oriental Strength taking the prize Dan Poe Shack, it was a battling effort, but he's got himself into second. And Born Day's made some ground from the back third. But uh, too good, Oriental Strength. I didn't think he was handling the ground that well, but the wider that he got from the top of the straight, the better he went. And you just notice when he just shifted out a little bit more here, well clear of the opposition, of course, but... The, the closer you get to this outside fence, the faster the lane is. And, and once he got there, he stretched that margin. And uh, Leo Salas, that's three for the weekend with Oriental Strength. Dan Poshak, another that found the fast lane. And he's been able to scramble home and get into second spot. He was going poorly in the early part of the race. And uh, it took him a long time to get into the race today. But he's been able to snare the queue spot. And Born Day, appreciating the distance and the wet track has been able to get into third. 439, winner number four, Oriental Strength. Son of Fastnet Rock, he's out of the Thunder Gulch mere Tempest Morn. He probably wouldn't have been that cheap as a baby. He's a four-year-old Bay Australian bred gilding and uh, Connections would be hoping he might get enough in the way of rating points there to get him well above the 60 to get uh, a run into the derby. But anyway, that remains to be seen. Three second, Dan Poshak. Uh, the rising 11-year-old, he's a 10-year-old, New Zealand bred gilding, he's by Dennis Singer, Clever Cloggs, Brunel James on Peter Nation, Nine Born Day, Frankie Choi, rode the son of Dome's Day, North Bourne Avenue, a three-year-old Australian bred gilding, and he might find an out over some of these longer races by the looks of that Born Day, because he's come from near the tail of the field, and not necessarily the better part of the track, but he looks like he's uh, going to appreciate wet tracks and a bit of a trip later on. And he is only a three-year-old, so 439. Uh, the fifth from our friends at Penang is coming up in about nine minutes' time. Number seven is your favourite here, Ducati. The jockey Yap at $26. $28 for the eight, Ruby Dane. Ruby Dane at $28. And the two Black Range. 
is at $50. 4392 here at Taipa, the Bombay Handicap. And Leo Salas, what's he got for the rest of the day, Salas? He's been in cracking form. My lucky baby in the next has got to be a super chance, this type of track. And of course he rides in the last, uh, the horse that might run favourite, rider navigator. So 4392. As we just await uh, correct weight and dividends, of course. 